Hi, I'm Lori from Revision Effects, and I'm here to show you how to use Twixter in Final Cut Pro. We're going to start with some simple speed changes. Okay, let's start with this clip of my friend Jesse. He came to race his car today and didn't know what he was getting into. We're going to speed him up, slow him down, and we're going to do all those things using Twixter. Let's get started. We have our source material here, and this clip is HDV 1440 by 1080, and its frame rate is 29.97 frames per second. We're going to drag our clip to the timeline. Now we want to tell Twixter to change the speed of this shot for a speed up effect. Twixter does this by purging and or creating new frames based on motion and speed up factor. As a result, the footage is shorter. For example, a two second clip when made two times faster for a speed change of 200% becomes a one second clip. We can add Twixter to our clip by going to Effects and Video Filters, Revision Plugins, and Twixter. Or you can also navigate to the Effects tab, Video Filters, Revision Plugins, and Twixter. Whichever way is most comfortable to you. Let's take a look at the effect controls here under the Filter tab. As a first lesson, we'll make sure to leave everything at the default settings, including leaving the display settings at Twixtered Output. Since Twixter often does a great job with the default settings and does so on this clip, we will just change the one with the most important setting, the one that controls the speed, the speed percentage setting. This is the way it works. If I choose to make it three times faster, that would be 300%. So if I put 300 in the speed dialog box, we can see the result. If I want to see the result, though, I will have to render the selection since Twixter is not real time. I go to Sequence and Render Selection. The source clip that was 150 frames long, or 5 seconds long, is now 50 frames long, or 1 second 20 frames long. Hmm, are you wondering why it's just black after 120? That's because Twixter is not allowed to adjust the length of the final output clip. Unlike Final Cut Pro's built-in speed setting, which is allowed to change the duration, plugins are not allowed. So it just goes black for the duration of the clip after our last good frame. We can simply go to the last good frame of the clip and use the razor tool to cut the clip or go to the end of the clip and drag the out point to set the new duration. Okay, now we're good to go. Alright Jesse, we just made you go three times faster. Now we're going to do a simple slow motion effect. In this lesson, where the new duration has to become longer than the original, and we learn that plugins are not allowed to alter the duration of the source material, we can use a workaround. What we do is take our original sequence and copy and paste it a few times to extend the sequence. You just need to make sure that the new duration is at least as long as your final output is going to be. Now, we don't apply Twixter to that extended sequence, but we create a new sequence by going to File and New Sequence. Let's call this new sequence Twixter Slow Mo. We can then drop the extended sequence into the new sequence, select it, and apply Twixter to that by one of the methods we previously discussed. In order to get the filter settings for clips, you would normally double click on the clip and it would show up in the filter tab. Notice what happens when I do this on a nested sequence in the timeline. You are taken to the nested extended sequences timeline instead of having the Twixtered slow-mo sequences filter and motion settings available in the viewer window. In order to get to the filter settings for a nested sequence on the timeline we want to go back to the Twixtered slow-mo sequence select View and Sequence, and now we see the filter settings. Or, you could highlight the slow-mo extended sequence, hit Return, and it will pop up in the viewer. Then you can go to the filter settings from here. 
Now we can choose the type of remapping we want, speed or frame number. And in this lesson, we will use speed. All we have to do is set the speed percentage. A value of 50% would tell Twixter to play the clip half as fast as the original. We are going to make it 50% slower, so in the dialog box, I will type 50. Just a side note, Twixter doesn't retime the audio on your clip. That will have to be done separate and in another lesson. We can go ahead and render the sequence. Now, let's play back the result. That looks good, except it starts playing the clip again within the sequence. That's because when we copy and pasted the sequence to extend the clip, we made it too long. We can simply go to the last good frame of the cut and change the duration to end the sequence here by dragging the out point. All right, Jesse, sorry, but you're now racing half as fast. You'll never win a race like this. So, this is how you do a simple slow motion effect in Twixter within Final Cut Pro.